you doing, Trench? I'm back. If you're a sincere seeker of truth, check that. Uh, you know, uh, uh, we have a gift, and the gift always is Muslims. Muslims are really a gift for us as a Christians, and we should use their uh, special skills to expose Islam. Did the sheep eat the Quran? Farid respond to David. I'm so excited about this video. And David, I feel sorry for you. Because Farid, who speak like... Uh, <clears throat> <laughs> and he blink with his eyes, is going to eat your life. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating the gap between me and David Woods. It was narrated that Aisha said, The verse of stoning and of breastfeeding an adult ten times was revealed, and the paper was with me under my pillow. When the Messenger of Allah died, we were preoccupied with his death, and a tame sheep came in and ate it. Quran was lost because of a sheep. Did this happen? No, it didn't. And this verse was indeed memorized and known by the companions. Does this make any sense? It doesn't make any sense. We actually do have examples in which... First, this liar, he just showed us a hadith about the stoning to death. But the story contained two stories two chapters or verses in the Quran are eaten by the goat. So he showed us a hadith saying, they memorize the verse of stoning to death. Okay, what about the breastfeeding? Do you memorize it? And I challenge Fifi to recite for us the verses of uh, breastfeeding for adult in time. You see how stupid they are? Trends in genetics, I don't know what it is either, but they suggest that humans may be getting dumber. Are you stupid? Yeah, of course. This is, this is a disease. This is a disease, and, and wallah, when I speak to people like this... Because the story, it doesn't say only that the goat ate only the stoning to death. Secondly, if you memorize it, so why it's not there? He will say to you that this verse is abrogated by recitation. So what, I mean, do stoning to death for somebody commit adultery, he is married or she is married. So look at this madness. But like, this... Ab yeah, and well, uh, they say to us, the goat did not eat it, but the goat ate it. Secondly, you do not memorize the verse because this is this is a hadith, this is not Quran. So let's carry on, let's carry on. Farid is talking, everybody shut up. I do not believe that it did, and here's my evidence. We have a chain of narrations. Hmm. Aisha, she narrates a hadith to Amra. Hmm. Amra narrates it to Abdullah ibn Abu Bakr. Hmm. To Susu. Abdullah ibn Abu Bakr narrates it to two people, Susu and Mimi. Malik mm. and Ibn Ishaq. Mm -hmm. When Malik narrates the hadith, he says that suckling was abrogated. When Ibn Ishaq narrates it, there's four possibility. Farid is talking. <laughs> Malik was correct. Mm. Malik, number one possibility, Malik was correct. That this verse is abrogated. Ibn Ishaq was correct. Ibn Ishaq was correct. Both were correct? Both they were correct? Or both were wrong? Or both were wrong? I mean, this is your genius. I have to admit, you are genius. Ah! Ah! Or Ibn Ishaq is correct, or both are correct, or both are wrong. Okay, hold on. Why you did not add more? Because you can say, what about uh, this guy is wrong, and this guy is right. Suddenly you jump two of them are wrong. Ha, ha. But anyway, he has his own logic, so we have to listen to his logic. And let us die laughing together. Listen carefully. Is there any supporting proof for any of these conclusions? Hmm. Aisha narrates a hadith to Amra. Amra narrates it to Al Qasim bin Muhammad, who narrates it to his son hmm. Abdul Rahman, hmm. who narrates it to two people, hmm. Hamad bin Salama and Ibn Ishaq again. When Hamad narrates a hadith, he says the suckling verse was abrogated. I disagree with that. When Ibn Ishaq narrates the hadith, he narrates that adult suckling was eaten by a sheep. <laughs> You just to show you how stupid this guy is. Are you stupid? Yes. Are you stupid? Yes. So if one of them say it, it's abrogated and the other one he says it's eaten by the by the goat, there's no there's no there is no contradiction there. I mean you are you're a certified donkey. According to me, abrogation doesn't mean contradiction. Because a verse is abrogated, there's many verses in the Quran, they are abrogated, but they are in the Quran. You are really a certified donkey. Isn't it the muta is one of them as an example, but it's in the Quran, chapter 4, verse 24. So when you say it's abrogated, should, it should be in the Quran. You see, you just say to us that he said it's abrogated. Does it say abrogated by recitation? Does it say, no, you just said it's abrogated. The suckling verse was abrogated. So abrogating a verse, that is not a problem until now. 
The other one saying, second one was eaten by the goat. He did not contradict the other one because it may be abrogated and eaten by the goat too. Now look, the conclusion. Give us the conclusion, brother. Again, notice the differences. Is it possible that Malik, Hamad, and Yahya were all mistaken? This might be a stupid question. Why not? Because simply they are carrying news. Secondly, you are the one who said that the same news come again to Ibn Ishaq. So Ibn Ishaq adding one more will not make any difference. Just to show you how we try to deceive you. Subhanallah, and this is a miracle actually. As long the hadith end to Ibn Ishaq, and this is what Ibn Ishaq said, right? And he said that Al Qasim he reported Ibn Muhammad, and then Abdul Rahman to Ibn Al Qasim, and then Ibn Ishaq he received the same thing. So either you have to say that Ibn Ishaq is a liar, and you don't dare to say so. <laughs> because everything here is called wrong. You see, stupidity is amazing. What do you mean wrong? Either he's lying or he is saying the truth. There's no wrong here. This is about reporting what they said. So how can be wrong? He is talking about something special. In the time of the death of Muhammad, the God came and flipped the Muhammad from the bed and ate the Quran and maybe ate Muhammad beard because God, they eat everything. So what Ibn Ishaq and Aisha reporting is not something small. This is a big deal because you just said that this hadith was abrogated. The suckling verse was abrogated. I disagree with that. What is the abrogated verses? <laughs> You see, if the hadith, he is saying it was abrogated, and according to him, this is the correct answer. The suckling verse was abrogated. It was abrogated. Okay, where we can find the verses which abrogated the ten breastfeeding for adult? Can you recite them for us? Obviously, the goat ate all the Quran. I do not believe that it did. The suckling verse was abrogated. Sorry to be quite direct here. And they try to interpret them in a certain way. It becomes quite actually embarrassing. Was abrogated. It becomes quite actually embarrassing. You see, the abrogation is not like cancelling the verse. It is about how many times. If we go in the hadith, we will find the following. Abrogated by five times. Okay, where we can find the five times? They say to you, abrogated by recitation. So not a single Muslim, he knew the recitation of the verses of a breastfeeding for adult ten times or five times. Because it's abrogated by five times. The hate is very clear. Do you see it? Have you ever heard of a stupid cult like this before? Are you stupid? Ha, ha. I think really there's nothing more to say. <laughs> so what they have is... Black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for my master, one for my dame, one for the little boy who lives down the lane. Bye bye, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for my master. That he wrote, he took from his teachers and everything that his teachers had. They took from their teachers and so on and so forth up until the Prophet peace be upon him. So what they have is, is a guy saying to a guy, the guy said to the other guy, the guy said to the other guy. One for my game and one for the little boy who lives down the lane. Bye bye black sheep, black sheep, black sheep, black sheep, bye bye black sheep, black sheep, black sheep, black sheep, bye bye black sheep, black sheep, black sheep, black sheep, bye bye black sheep. So what they have is, is a guy saying to a guy, the guy said to the other guy, the guy said to the other guy, that this is abrogated. <laughs> that is how you do an Isnad analysis, David. <laughs> so what's next? Do thy ten times second. Okay, Allah abrogated the verse. By what? By making it five times. What is that? Allah, he found that ten times is not good. Do it five times second. <laughs> <laughs> and what kind of God he says do it ten times and then after a few weeks he says it uh, five times Muslim don't follow Allah they are following a guy he said about the guy the guy said to the other guy so now what we confirm for us based in the answer of uh, 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 Fifi breastfeeding for adult is not a hocus it's true all that he is saying it is abrogated the suckling verse was abrogated and this is a really humiliating argument <laughs> 
That is a clear evidence that Muhammad is a scumbag. Listen carefully what he will say. And you will see why I'm very grateful for having those people because they help us to expose Islam. <laughs> Listen carefully to the super intelligent answer. Malik and Yahya are top tier narrators of hadith. And Ibn Ishaq is not top? Hmm. Unlike Ibn Ishaq. Yeah. Oh, Ibn Ishaq is not. <laughs> Look at this hadith, which is very Sahih hadith. Yahya related to me, and he is the one who said that Yahya is a top, and Malik is top. Malik and Yahya are top tier narrators of hadith. <laughs> from, 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 from. She said, Umm Kalthum, the daughter of Abu Bakr. She said, suckle him ten times. How many times? The coward, he said, it is abrogated. The suckling verse was abrogated. So if it's abrogated by five times, how high she is practicing ten times suckling still? You see how ridiculous this is? Omar said, I'm afraid that after a long time has passed, people may say, we do not find the verses of Arajim. We cannot find it in the holy book. And consequently, they may go astray by leaving an obligation that Allah has revealed. Show us where in the Quran or in the Hadith your Prophet said this verse recitation is abrogated. Where your Prophet he said the stoning to death verse is abrogated as recitation. Do you have a Hadith saying that? But like this ab yeah, and Allah, what's wrong with you? So where Allah he said don't put it in the Quran, show us. If not, that's when you are a potato. Yes. What? Yep. You never told me this. According to your God, when he abrogate verses, he do one of two things. We do not cause any of the verse or ayats of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be forgotten. But we replace it with something similar or better. Either he abrogate them, which means he will give you instead something and still you will have it there. Or cause it to be forgotten. But you said you don't forget. No, you do. You cannot memorize for me the chapter of bless you for adult ten time. I change you. Allah says, any revelation we abrogate or we cause to be forgotten, we bring something better or similar. Okay. Allah, he abrogate the verse of stoning to death. Did he give something similar? Subhanallah. Allah Messenger heard a man reciting the Quran at night and said, Sahih Bukhari is a wonderful, great book that is the most authentic book after the Quran. May Allah bestow his mercy on him as he reminded me of such and such verses of such and such surahs which I was caused to forget. If you think that the OT and NT are more reliable than a single hadith. Anyone knows what does that mean? Muhammad is a fraud because in the Quran we shall make you recite the Quran so you Muhammad you will not forget it. Actually there's no contradiction in the Quran. You see how ridiculous this is? And this verse was indeed memorized and known by the companions. No brother, we remember the verses. No you don't. Recite for me the chapter of a breastfeeding you coward. <laughs> now listen careful what you will say. I, I love it actually. <laughs> <laughs> Due to this, uh -huh. the report was rejected. Was rejected. But you see, this is really pathetic. <laughs> was rejected. This is a nonsense argument. It's an embarrassing argument. It should never be made. Keep in mind, it wasn't rejected just now. Mm. It's been rejected a thousand years ago. <laughs> By Jawrqani. Look how this liar, what he said. But let us get him busted. This is islamweb.net. This guy wanna give you a conclusion that this hadith obviously wrong. Was rejected. Was rejected. It is not a true. Truly, truly. And by the way, he said, there's a book, it says this is da'if. By Jawrqani. Let, let us get you busted. Listen carefully. Question, fatwa number. You see, this is not me saying this is official Islamic website and those are big shakes, not like this potato. Fatwa number 12905 and here they are asking a question about this hadith, if it's correct or not. I will click translation in the front of you, translate to English. As you see here, this is what he said to us, Abu Salama, blah, 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 blah. Is this hadith is sahih? If there is evidence that this hadith is sahih, the answer, Here's the good news though. You can't handle it. This hadith was narrated by Imam Ibn Majah and blah, 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 and blah, 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 blah. And this is originally mentioned in a Sahihain and it is a Sahih hadith. SubhanAllah, and this is a miracle actually. <coughs> it is a valid hadith, you potato. I, I, I can't tolerate this. <laughs> it's a clarified as 
a valid hadith, Sahih. There's a translation for the Sahih. Keep in mind, it wasn't rejected just now. Mm. It's been rejected a thousand years ago by Jawrqani. This is a desperate clutching at straws. So this hadith is valid. It's Sahih. And you are a potato and you get busted. <laughs> and this is not David Wood saying that. And this is not Christian Prince saying that. This is your scholars. And this is your website. This is the game they play always. Anything will make Islam look stupid, dummy. Here we have the scholars. Who are they? Look who look, look at the big names they are mentioning in this page here. Big huge names. Subhanallah. And he's lying to us saying this is not a bad hadith. The same game will never stop. And this video demonstrating the gap between me and David Woods. Well, are you stupid? Truly, truly. Yes. All right, guys. So let's review what we learned here. Budapest is the capital of what European country? Budapest? I never even heard of that. The right answer is Hungary. Is what? Hungary. Hungary? Like I'm hungry. That's a country? <laughs> now, I've heard of Turkey, but... <laughs> Never heard of it. Even though he tried to lie about it, but he helped us a lot. So I'm really thankful for this Fifi. Um, excuse me, doctor. For the work you do. I should me myself, I should donate for him. Wake up, seriously. Today should be the day. <laughs> After this performance of this man, today must be the day. I I'm, I'm proud of myself. <laughs> I think I did a good job. Stop! It's better for you. Smack that like button. Black sheep. Have you any wool? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags full. One for my master. One for my dame. One for the little boy who lives down the lane. Papa Black sheep. Have you any wool? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags full. One for my master. One for my dame. And one for the little boy who lives down the lane. Papa Black sheep. Black sheep. Black sheep. Black sheep. Papa Black sheep. Black sheep, black sheep, black sheep, papa, black sheep, black sheep, black sheep, black sheep, papa, black sheep, black sheep, black sheep, okay, papa, black sheep, have you been gone? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full, one for my master, one for my dame, one for the little boy who lives down the lane, papa, black sheep, have you been gone? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for my master, one for my dame, one for the little boy who lives down the lane. Bye bye, black sheep. Have you any wool? Anyways, I'm done. I'll be back. Surprise!